Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for x in this math math problem? When we have n truth of a, yes, this can be written as a raised to power one over n. That means from what we have here, this can be written as nine raised to power one over x, then plus six raised to power one over x equals to four raised to power one over x. Then next step here, let's divide truth by four raised to power one over x. Then we have this side divided by four raised to power one over x. Also here, four raised to power one over x. Also here by four raised to power one over x. That is here, this cancel out and everything has become one. Then when we have a raised to power n over b raised to power n, this is the same thing as a over b or raised to power n. That is, we can write here, and this becomes 9 over 4. Now, all raised to power 1 over x there. Also plus, here we have 6 over 4. Also, all raised to power 1 over x. Now equals to 1 on this side. And uh, from here, 9 can be written as 3 square. That is 3 times 3. That's 9. Also, 4 can be written as 2 square. Then raised to power 1 over x. Then plus here, we can write 6 as 2 times 3. And 4 as 2 times 2. Then raised to power 1 over x. Now equals to 1. Then here, this can switch order. We are left with 3 over 2. And also applying the same law of indices that we have here. This power here is common, so we have 3 over 2 all square. Now raised to power 1 over x plus here remain 3 over 2 or raised to power 1 over x now equals to 1. And uh, from here, applying the law of indices as well, a raised to power n raised to power n is equals to a raised to power n n that is multiply which also are a raised to power n then raised to power m then from here it implies that we can interchange this as 3 over 2 raised to power 1 over x then or raised to power 2 then plus 3 over 2 or raised to power 1 over x equals to 1. Then here we have 3 over 2 or raised to power 1 over x common. Then we can say less a letter u here be equals to 3 over 2 or raised to power 1 over x. That is what we have here then become u square plus u equals to 1. Then from here, when we take 1 to this side, this becomes u square plus u minus 1 equals to 0 from here. Then from what we have here, we can solve this quadratic equation using the formula u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac all over 2a and where a here equals to 1 b equals to 1 c equals to minus 1 then this formula becomes u equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 
then over 2 times 1. That is, when we solve here, this give us u equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1, then minus times minus as plus plus 4, then over 2, which becomes u equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. Then here we have two possible cases of u here. That is, we have the first one u equals to minus 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then here we have u equals to minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then we should recall that we represented u as 3 over 2 or raised to power 1 over x. That is here we have 3 over 2 or raised to power 1 over x now equals to minus you know 1 plus root 5 and we can write that as root 5 minus 1 over 2 and on this side as well we have 3 over 2 raised to power 1 over x equals to minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then from here, the result on the left will give us positive number. Also here we have positive. Here this is positive and here this is negative. So no real solution on this side. Then from what we have here, we take the log on both sides. Then we have log 3 over 2 or is to power 1 over x now equals to log into bracket root 5 minus 1 over 2 and uh, on the left hand side here we apply the power law of logarithm when we have log m is to power p this is same thing as p log m that is here 1 over x can come here and we have 1 over x log 3 over 2 then equals to here we have log root 5 minus 1 over 2 that is from here we can divide both side by log 3 over 2 from here also divide this side by log 3 over 2 then here this cancel out and we are left with 1 over x here which is equal to here we have log when we have log a over b we can separate it as log a minus log b from the law of log reading then here what we have we can write it as log root 5 minus 1 then minus log 2 from here then divided by also here we have log 3 then minus log 2 then don't forget here we have to find x not 1 over x so we take the reciprocal on both sides and this here the reciprocal here gives us x which is equal to here in the denominator we go up now and we have log 3 minus log 2 then divided by here we have log into bracket root 5 minus 1 then minus log 2 then when we substitute the values of log 3, log 2, and log root 5 minus 1, here we have x equals to 0 0.4771 minus 0 0.301, then divided by, here yeah, this gives us 0 0.0920, then minus 0 0.301, 
and here we have x equals to 0 0.1761 then divided by minus 0 0.209 and here we have x equals to minus 0 0.8425 which here will be an approximate solution to this given problem. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps and subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. And see you next class. Bye for now.